Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in almost sort of vanilla Hoi 4, which we're playing as Driven Right currently. But we're using a sub-mod, or just mod for Hordes of Iron 4, um, called Der Traum des Kaisers. The dream of the Kaiser, or the Kaiser's dream. Um, in which basically we're, we're going to get Monarchist Germany, and basically we get a lot of puppets. That's basically what this mod is about, the sub-mod, the dream of the Kaiser. Um, basically, Monarchist Germany. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm, this is on A-Historical, so it's okay to go to war with uh, Belgium. <coughs> Netherlands. Remove the MEFO builds, which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Um, but we're just going to go anyways, because we can, and I want to just get rid of them. And because, for the glory of the German nation, of course, um, we still need to do the Civil War and whatnot, which is pretty, honestly, easy to fill. Oh, utilize domestic film industry, that's cool. The German film industry has uh, developed significantly in the last decade. The population is starved for entertainment. We stand a benefit from a cinematic production designed to, be, to stir patriotic sentiment. Also, to be honest with you, uh, this campaign is for me to tr play... This is another excuse for me to play as Monarchist Germany, because I like Monarchist Germany. And there we go. Fall of Amsterdam. Fall of the Netherlands, Amsterdam. Fall of the Imperial Troops. <clears throat> An overwhelming force around 15,000 German soldiers entered the city around 7 a.m. The Dutch initially retreated to the western bank of the Amsterdam River and tried to mount a better defense line, but failed. Uh, the same day, by 1 p.m., the entire city was under German control, and the city uh, surrender was signed personally by its mayor, Kortman. A new castle of the army is unstoppable. Also, they will have different events like that um, in this mod for Heart Point 4, which is great. Ah, huh. and we get them anyway, so. Oh! Also, part of the mod, uh, this mod, uh, says that you have to, like, it's highly, highly recommend just ask everybody, and then you can puppet them. So, you know, I'm kind of glad I didn't go there to try to beat up enemy ships. Because, even though it's, I, I've done this before, I've done this plenty of times. Um, these ships kind of suck. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Prepare! Anything here? Not too much, no. Anything here? Probably not too much, no. Do that anyways, and train. Sounds good to me. Alright. Well, world tension is 25%, but we're looking okay. So now, what? Do we have a new decision here? National Spain has gone to war, of course. Um, it's 1936, like normal. Pretty normal, pretty normal, 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 normal. Um, anything we really care about? Armor, probably. So, there's that. We'll try to some volunteers of Spain. Um, like I said, it is on a historical, so I have been doing a few ahistorical things. Do you want to send all tanks? Probably not. But we like tanks, because they're hard. We are going to monarchist, but I just want the army XP and whatnot, so. Also, Ethiopia did not fall Italy. Italy did get a peace, but Ethiopia had a civil war, and they, well, they're fascist now. Abba Jufier. Companies demand MFL payment. With the end of the recent war, the companies that we have issued MFL bills are now pushing for us to issue payments. They claim there's no longer any necessity to withhold payments for the good of the fatherland. Very well. Whatever. For your plan. We need a vicious plan to provide for their armor man and ultimate self-sufficiency of the nation. This should be achieved in the next four years, which we've got done. Autarky. For Germany to be truly great, it must be self-sufficient. Must better make use of our resources and become more efficient in our construction. Have been going back up. We must rid ourselves of uh, the fickle influence of private capitalists. Therefore, we'll form an industrial conglomerate under our control to oversee growth in the mining and steel sectors. as well to form the backbone of our military industry and KDF Hockin. Large systems purchase their own future people's car through a saving scheme, which in turn we will use to finance the construction of these factories that will eventually contribute in building these cars. Extra research slot. Our industrial expansion of other recent advances might allow us to construct more R&D in parallel and oppose Hitler. Hitler's reign must come to an end. He meant to provoke the Western powers by remilitarizing the Rhineland, but doing so will give, the excuse, give us excuse we need to seize power with the help of the lower elements in the Wehrmacht. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to be bombing Spaniards because I, I'm an American. We love bombing people. Um, Army 3, naval bombers. Probably not going to use any naval bombers. I'm going to take some of these guys off. Fighters, plus air support. We don't have a lot of cast. Whatever. Just do the best you can. Just bomb smithereens. Do you mean to break up the crown? Oh boy. So I had to leave it on a struggle to see what would happen. Occupy territories. We need to use cavalry. Military coverage. Oh yeah. That really hurts daily compliance. More resources though. Date. Suppressing target goes down, but. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Huh. That's interesting. Because we go to this one. This is kind of changed since the last time we played this. Martial law. You get less resistance target. That's minus 60%, but way less compliance. Get more resources. I don't care about the resources too much. Daily compliance gain goes down, but secret police. Required damage garrisons goes down. Required garrisons goes down. It's different, huh? So, uh, resistance target. Damage garrisons go way down. And this one, no garrison would really hurt, but it's required the least. Damage control to garrisons. Required garrisons goes down. We'll see. Nice. There you go. Good enough. Oh. Why are you over here? I thought I was in the tanks. Whoops. I wish you could recall to me. Eh, oh well. 
I guess we're using infantry for this one. Whatever. We're still using plans and the mountaineers. I did. This is the group I did send to uh, Ethiopia earlier. What is going on? What do you mean? Oh. There you go. Be nice to remove and get military police on here, but whatever. There you go. Let's start working on the compliance for now. Not sure I got over there so fast, but whatever. Should be able to do okay. Could get Prince of. We could do that. Or we could get like an error form. Or we'll do this and then post Hitler and secure the new stay and then go get air innovations as well. I'll probably do that one. Ah. Oh. I know there's the slots. This is a beautiful thing, my friends. Ah, uh, sure. We need some fuel. Even more fuel. Just for the love of God, we are Germany. And going in around, why not? And oppose that Schmiller guy. Modern War is going to be one without dominating the skies. We must do everything in our power to develop the Air Force. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. As we just kind of walk in. Don't necessarily want the fascists to win, but we just don't want to lose. You know? Real propaganda, huh? Oh, technology has developed to a point where a significant portion of our population have access to home radio. State sponsored media is a perfect tool for sticking war effort in the heads of our people. You know, we'll do that anyways, because we can use more war support and that help our command power, too. You can see, he has definitely been in Ethiopia. Has been getting a lot of experience at the very least. Whee! Let me have four bills. Good. Those are gone. No one likes seven bills. And oh, Italy's in a civil war too. Look at that. Fascist Italy versus communist Italy. Hey, we'll join them very soon too. Nice. Happy 937, everybody. Mountaineer, infantry leader, organizer, hopefully. Maybe even a trickster, because we are fighting on a river, but I don't know if we'll get that much experience from that, too. But I do love how fast base game, generally base game moves. It's so nice. I might just beat through the Civil War, we'll see. I might take a popcorn break for that, but I'll save just in case. And boom. Very mock officer challenge Hitler. Late in dissatisfaction with Hitler's rules, coming to a head with the current crisis caused by the administration's move to remilitarize the Rhineland. A number of Wehrmacht generals have rallied beyond the well known Field Marshal August von Mackensen, who has put in motion eight plans aiming to suppose Hitler and rule the Nazi party from Germany. While it's been in German high command, uh, becoming clearly apparent even abroad, foreign powers have elected not to protest against the militarization. More concerned with the growing internal German instability, the aging field marshals move quickly, already establishing a provisional government to which scores have flocked in their opposition to the Nazi government. The military coups already well under its way. Where does the Nazis come from our lands? Yay! Oh, we have them too. Oh, that sucks. Um, go on and do that for now. Uh, let's see where we at. We got you. We got y'all. We got two tanks. It's not bad. There. I guess we'll need some new guy here, huh? We good in defense. Um, Blaskovitz. Tank guy. Punk Lug. And Marvel here. The goal is to drive in a circle. Alright. So we did that route, which is nice. Uh, air innovations? Yes. Yes, please. Oh, more divisions too? Launch them? There. There you go. Three and four fat boy divisions? Why not? Bombok? Plane wise. You're kind of okay already, as is. Yeah, I don't even deploy him since. We're probably going to need him later on. But we'll have a nice no, thing. Oh, integrate the Dutch shooters of the German Empire. Instead of getting some autonomy to the Dutch, we'll gain integrate them directly as one of the kingdoms that compose our empire. Would it be peace, more than 75% stability? We could course on them. Well, that's cool. Form the 
Koninkrijk of the Netherlands under Bohemia. The Netherlands are German. They are brothers. They must be part of the empire under the uh, Kaiser's royal loyal friend Wilhelmia. Wilhelmina. Lord of the Kaiser. Oh, that's really cool. Actor Trey, military compliance speed. Island. That's kind of cool. But I kind of want to just integrate them. Trap and air safety regulations. We could do that if we really wanted to, but we're not going to do that. Um, oh, we didn't have one here yet. Castle Ring. It's not bad. I do want a Von Grime, just because bad will the penalty would be good to get. Ooh, war economy would be nice, too. A free war economy? Well, it's not free, but whatever. Uh, what else do we want? I want Von Rombo. Okay, kind of nice. Yeah, this guy's going to cost a little bit, too. Mobile Warfare. Um, you know what? I never choose something like this. I'll go with him. I want to get that with a bit of power. Be nice. And now they're warless. Cool. Yeah, but 37, everybody. I love having a little bit of a gym in conflict in my life. Nothing like conflict. Still. Oh, wow. Oh, that's not good. Ah, they have tanks in front of us. Okay. Hold them. Here to defend for now first. Alright, so we can get shock. You know what? Let's get shock. Because we can. Ah. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Very good. So good, so good. like to do is make an encirclement here, but we'll see, you know. And... Two-ish, weakish divisions-ish. While well, supported on this front as well. Should be fine, right? It's only three divisions getting encircled, but that's okay. There. Reminds me of the Civil War in TNO. Oh god, I love that mod so much. Ah. Oh. Division's trapped. Oh no. Oh well. Goodbye. Well, got rid of three. Start many. Power drive. That direction. You might as well follow them up. Get over there too. Godspeed, you bunch of tankerinos. And there you go. Good job. Just don't leave the area before you fully get rid of them. Huh. Nice. Go in. Support that there attack. Support the attack. Start doing that so you can start taking away their victory points as well. That's very nice. They're attacking us up there. I'm not concerned as long as we close off southern Germany. Oh, if you remember that, please go ahead. I've heard that many, 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 multiple times, actually. There you go. Go there. Let's go there. Oh, they want to free them, and they might, but I'm going to say, nah. Not today. Hey, air speed already? Nice. Or air, enough air speed? Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good. Pretty normal, pretty normal. That's quite a few divisions I have down here. Oh, we lost the thing here. It sucks. Here, detection, not bad, not bad. 37, come over through here. Yes, please. Air invasion, army invasions, why not? Hans Guderian, other radical theorists, pushing for Darren Doctrine's emphasizing communication. Identification of Schwerpunkt and local concentrations of combined arms forces. Again, three reigns might help avoid the meat grinder horrors of World War One. Good guy, that would, that would be a great thing. That's a lot of divisions. But I ain't got a ton of supply around here. Turingen? I never know how to pronounce that. Oh, we have some double spice, double chai, light black tea here. Double spice? I don't really know the name. Official name of it. Hmm. Probably learned that. Hey, you got 100 here, huh? Nice, nice, nice. Mecklenburg. Good. Oh, another second. Look at that. Beautiful. Sergut. Bopalman. Yes, yes, yes. Have them out, have them out. Oh, 
Bubble Bion. Very good, so good. Even up here, we're doing really well. I wasn't expecting to do this well. Uh, we're losing a lot of guys. We lost four, two, a quarter million, really. I mean, if you can consider both sides, but. Need a buy-in. So good. Nice. If you can take Berlin, it might be enough. I want you guys to hold, though. Wait, get some more planning down. They might get a little more entrenched, but that's okay. Whatever. Three. Two. One. Everyone's killing themselves. That's okay. That's what you do in the 1930s. This is really good for army XP, though. Or just XP in general. Ah, uh, Berlin. Welcome back, Berlin. I love army innovations. Gross from Wirtschaft. We must prepare Germany for its destiny as the centerpiece of Europe. Our infrastructure will bond together with the west, with the east, and the south, with the north. Hitler found dead with the capture of Berlin. Troops discovered the corpse of Hitler in a bunker in a city. Troops in death after seeing anti fascist elements take over the country. The leader evidently took his own life rather than risk capture. Instead, Heinrich Kimmler has now stepped up to lead the Nazis and he's already confirmed the government is not abandoning the fight against anti German treason. It's the beginning of the end for the Nazis. Well, you betcha. Now, we could go this direction. I almost always use this direction because it's pretty good for organization. That's pretty gosh darn decent. You get three more organization here, too. 20% more breakthrough, too. That's pretty darn decent. But motorized infantry organization, that's very good, too. But even more organization. Honestly, you get six organization in total. But uh, motorized infantry get more organization too. Recovery rate. Oh, recovery rate though. We're going Blitzkrieg. Very nice. Very, very nice. Thanks, Bell and Bomber. A lot of dead. 400,000 Germans dead. Not good. German Civil War ends. There you go. Hamburg disaster. Now it's leadership captured. As long as long last, we have freed the country from the grip of our enemies, and those loyal citizens who rose up to support our cause may now finally return to their homes as a nation. We may begin the long and arduous process of rebuilding our nation. The country's leadership, in turn, is, of course, free to begin looking ahead at what might become in the future democracy or return of the old monarchy. One last thing remains to be taken care of, however. With the end of the Civil War, troops managed to capture a larger group of Nazi leadership. Now, there only remains a decision what to do with this unsavory part of recent history. Hang them. Present for life, that might come in useful handy later. Well, you know, I kind of want to, uh, I kind of want to hang him, but oh well. Um, hey, Albert Speer is still here. Hello, Albert Speer, anti-fascist agent. It's not bad necessarily, but Grossvierdramschaft. Well, after that, I guess we had to do secure the new state. A lot of the civil war that formed, the provisional government lacks strength. Most sure that security cannot even easily be overthrown. Yeah. And of course, we'll go with revive the Kaiser rank. The events of the past are going to show that democracy is too weak to keep any serious internal elements at bay. We must return the strong leadership of the Kaiser in preparation for extremists to pervert the Constitution back to that Deutsche Kaiser Nice. Not, oh. Oh, we integrate them. Right, we need 1% more stability for that, bro. Okay, so that's interesting. So if we do this, then we get them. I mean, that would make more sense for us. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to have cores. Composer on fire, but you know what? I'm going to do something I never do. Uh, Minister for uh, Gebiets der Verwaltung, a territorial administration ministry. It's responsible for all the bureaucracy surrounding the colonial empire or administration of the German Empire. Here, decisions are taken on who manages which part of the empire, how long, for how long. Minister taking a personal influence on the German Kaiser does not like to be questioned. I don't want to do this because I, I don't like having, you know, I like having cores of everything, but I'm going to do something I almost never do and give them freedom. I know I am a generous god in this campaign. Um, just because we will get some of their factories too and stuff like that, but uh, but I do want to see like all the puppets because they're supposed to be unique puppets. So we were on some mills. We could use more mills, man. Uh, we've got extra. Get some planes, man. We need planes, bro. We need planes. And warmer cars. Oh, we're gonna use them. Oh my god. Nice. There you go. 200. What do we need 200 for? Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Military parade in the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Oh, they're back. König like Niederlander. They should give us Bell the second back then, right? In theory. What's the galaxy? Nice flag. Wilhelmina von der Niederlande. Overturn military budget costs. The crisis Jahren. Of course, we are on ahistorical, so they might choose something really random and not good for us. Inundation lines. They might actually go a different direction than we want. Which would not be good for us. We'll see. This before unaligned. Well, how unaligned are they? Relatively? Relatively unaligned. Well, I mean, this many research slots is nice. Not gonna lie. It's very nice, actually. Light cruiser stuff. Um, anti tank. But well, we, on, honestly, we don't really need anti tank. Some medium tanks. And over here. That'd be nice. Alright, so Spain is winning against Spain, Spain, and Spain. They're democratic. Um, can't send volunteers anyway, so that kind of really sucks. You know, I'll probably beat the Poles up next. Oh, they're the Kingdom of Poland, too, huh? Go oh, flipping figure. Bumbuck. There we go. These are over here. Brace the future, I kind of like that one, but... Motorization drive, is this really worth it? Honestly, probably not. I like it anyways, though. It's what I like. Drink out with might be a bit too much, but whatever. Go with eight, deploy there, give me two at a time. Yes, please. Thank you, come again. Um, throw some death charges too. I got a lot of peepee. -pee. Burf stability. Burf and prove. I want Rommel as well. Get there. Oh, did we spend political power with this guy? No, we did not yet. Oh, well, I should have waited to do that. Well, whatever. I ask you. I'm here to have a good time, not a long time. Ah, uh, but then return the Kaiser. They should do okay with us. More than 40% for a military guerrilla. Well, the Kaiser needs a Kaiser and Wilhelm still has a second so lives. Looks out in the Netherlands. Well, it's exile and him to return to the throne, despite what the Western democracies might think. And rebuild the nation, of course. At the ravages of the Civil War, we must look to rebuild our nation. We'll ask people to set aside the personal comforts for our time, so we may focus all our resources on attaining this goal. Ban Russian militarism. Replace the loss of our Civil War, we must appeal to the Prussian sense of militarism and improve recruitment and training of new recruits. Better militarism freed us from Nazi dictatorship and ensures that these Prussian ideas are now more popular than ever. A new and better Germany. While we were rebuilding our nation, we also formed them to go ahead and above and beyond what's necessary. As what we will build now will stand the test of time. A bulwark against Bolshevism? Sure. Our nation stand by as a shield against Bolshevism, protecting the West from communism's influence, of course. Uh, pff, uh, we must cancel this Mary mantle with pride and prepare to use arms necessary. Yeah. But of course, we're going to do this one too. Non aligned part will become the Deutsche National Volkspartei. Very well, good. Well, guess what, everybody? The Kaiser returns to Germany. Uh, let's see. In the middle of the exact celebrations, Wilhelm II returned uh, to Kaiser, as Kaiser, of course, uh, to the German Empire. The Netherlands is owed a debt of gratitude for allowing her to save refuge these past couple of decades, and thus for refusing his extradition to a former enemy on multiple occasions. Uh, although the nation suffered much in the recent civil war, it's up that Kaiser's return will bring further stability and unity. He shall undoubtedly lead the nation well, of course. He's an anti-democrat. Yeah, who likes Democrats? Now we're doing fan Oh, Wilhelm II returns to the German Empire in the surprise announcement yesterday morning. The German government officially ex uh, lifted... The Exxon Wilhelm II, later in the day. The old Kaiser's motorcade passed the Dutch German border, and upon his return to Berlin, he was ceremoniously reinstated Kaiser of the German Empire. The Kaiser already vowed to see Germany return to its old greatness, but it remains to be seen which direction the nation will take with diplomacy. Long live the Kaiser. Patriot commies. The internal threat of communism continues to plague our nation. We must be rid of it, must rid of it ourselves, no matter where the adherents lead to. See to the Eastern Front. Have we learned anything from the Great War? This dog must prepare for an attack on our outlying Eastern positions. Uh, these positions must be restored and fortified against any sort of invasion. Very good. Ah, five research slots. I love it. Uh, what else do we want to research here? Tank tank would be nice, but we don't really need it. Ah, uh, better tank tanks up. We're gonna be really tank heavy. Hopefully, we do have not twelve tank divisions, but at least four, and a lot of infantry over here. Just to, oh, Poland. You already gave up half of Poland. Well, Jesus Christ, Poland. We call Poland another border back. Well, the Hawkins all restored to the throne. The old line of East Africa once again offers his services. Oh, you bet your butt we want him back. Poland International, of course. 
Bulwark naval rearmament. But we'll get rid of these guys first. See to these in front. Uh, safeguard the Baltics. So well, I just want to kill everybody. Oh, the Anglo German naval agreement was. Uh, we secured in 1935, allows us to expand our navy greatly. Should have spared no effort in doing so, of course. Versus brain, brain drain would be nice, but whatever. Uh, I just basically want to take everyone out. Danzig, we're guaranteed. Revenge is very nice, though. Ooh, I should have said that the game rules, we can just invade whoever, whenever we want. Signal companies, I'm not going to actually use those. Speed hospitals, maybe. Um, we can plenty of divisions, though. We need more world tension, which sucks. Whatever. We'll get there. Hopefully. Sonar. Oh, wow. Look at all the stuff we built. Um, there you go. There you go. Train him, train him, train him, train him, train him. I'll do the bulwark as well. Central European Alliance would be nice too. Just building up a lot of roads, man. Maybe build some of that too. We're almost done with that. That's good. Um, no, oh, that's well, I guess. Don't mean to give him so many guys, but whatever. There you go. Happy November, everybody. Happy, happy November. Japan did go into a civil war eventually. You guys, 1939, expect communists. Nothing too major yet, except British naval dominance. Nah, we're good, man. Uh, 1936 heavy hulls. We'll do that. We got our ones, twos, twos. Battle cruiser, battle ship. Uh, you can do out of two if you really want. Um. Sure, sure, sure. And sure. Doing good to me. India is dying, 31%. Uh, we need someone to go to war with us. Or something, because we do have these guys, which is nice and all, but I want, I want, I want war. Von Ram will be nice. Film the second is very good for this. Bulwark against Bolshevism, see the Eastern Front. Uh, naval effort, of course. Expansion of our Navy should be our first priority. Send all available resources to the new dockyards and research into light ship surface ships. Oh, well, crap. I should not have taken this one. Oh, I should have taken this one. Focus on the true enemy. Oh. Because I did want to go down this way. Carte blanche. Whoops, my bad. Well, crap. Because I do want to do it with central powers. Break the, the, this. Because I want to shleaf in some more. Of course, when is the last time I actually went down this way? I think I always go down that way. Focus on the true enemy. Oh. It makes more sense for us to go down this way, honestly. It makes way, way, way more sense. Part of the German fleet, Central Powers. Well, we're creating our other faction anyways. Bear Italian coup, assassinate Mussolini, but he's already dead. We can't appear all sentiment. Well, you know what? Let's, say, let's stick with what we got right now. Screw it. We'll accept British naval dominance for now. Uh, Hertz or Dr. Rapa, but whatever. Required, we require allies to fight communism, and the British are prime candidate. Well, alleviate their concerns by accepting their naval superiority and disavowing any extensive naval buildup in the interest of improved relations until we just get rid of them, but whatever. So we can't do this one. Such a European alliance. Requires all the following. So we can't do that one. Danzig for guarantees. Huh. I guess I'll have to wait and see. I mean, it sucks that we can't really do very much. I saw the Mediterranean threat. Great Britain has contacted us with a request that we diplomatic isolate the Italians. Should we be open to it? They indicate a willingness, winning willingness to consider a potential future alliance with us. It's potential. Oh, well, yeah, we'll see what happens. Why not? Diplomatic isolation for Italy. Nice. This path grants us better prospects. Sure, why not? Sounds like a good idea. Why not? The two, we've got some more uh, destroyers and whatnot. Yes, please. Some of the good old things right there. Bulwark against Bolshevism. 1939, happy 1939, everybody. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. Since we're here anyway, screen an agency. Sure, I'm about it. Yes, please. I'll take out everybody as much as we possibly can. So, Bulwark, see the Eastern Front. We demand a medal, of course. Oh. True of the SSRs. Oh, can't do that one. Oopsie. Well, that would have been nice for medium tanks, but whatever. Our innovations too. Land auction would be nice. I line Hungary, of course. Hungary's already in our sphere of influence, and look at that. Uh, we could easily sweep them further away. Way of thinking, making them even more min easily manipulable in the future. Align Romania. Romania's already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily sweep them further away. Thinking, making them sure they're easily more easily manipulable in the future. I know I speak fast, but still. 
So, like, when can we go to war with people? People go to war with us. I hate that we have to wait. Who are you allied with? Mongolia and Tunisia. Okay, they look, just look different. Oh, there's nice. Um, economist. Those gentlemen's always pretty good to do. Why not? Nine. End of the League of Nations. Oh! Nice. Good choice. Raise our world tension. It's still 20% because no one gives a crap about Ireland. Okay. And there goes Ireland. Well, at least someone is trying to kill someone else here. Oh. Oh, they finished the war too. Well, world tension has to change at all, which is really disappointing. Definitely against those guys. Operative. See the Eastern Front. Ah, Mamel Lithuania full. The Lithuanian government has agreed to our demands. Mamel will be incorporated back into the East Prussia. Yet another unlawfully stolen province will have been returned to the German nation. Excellent. 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 Play Mamel. By communist ministers, eh? On the popular front. Polish and Czechoslovakian crowns in a union. Okay, well. Alright, women's suffrage. Well, they're going communist now. We're building nation, eh? Uh, we're running out of places to build. I know the Grand Wirtschaft thing would give us, like, this. Up oh. Wow, Mexico. Actually, Mexico might be able to do it. America's not very strong at the beginning. So. Not pretty not, of course. Oh, they went to war with Great Britain, too? What the heck, guys? Very communist. Naval rearmament's very nice as well. Plenty of guns. Um, Gary's eventually, maybe. Maybe not. Danzig would guarantee safeguard the Baltic. Well, that's the shade. Oh. They could always say no. Okay, we'll go against France. Why not? Screw it. And the lands of the shade. Uh, if we cannot take the place in the sun, then we shall allow those who can cast a shadow over us. Let's go do it anyways. Wow, this is weird. Polish and Slovakia, huh? You guys go over there. You guys do that. Fish them off like that, too. Nice. Weird and awkward and uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah. What happened to this one? And lines of the shade. Carte blanche for Alsace and French colonies. Must petition a new ally to follow us free reign and claim a rough territories in Alsace Serena and our fair share of African colonies. It's only 30% world tension. God dang it. Come on, man. Like brosives. We continue the work. 41% is not bad. We need 52. 42%. Yes, Mexico, do it. Keep pissing people off. Actually, this weakens Poland quite a bit. Should be able to spread out through here. Nice. Good, more caps was good. Down South American Confederacy. Cool, cool, cool. No more kind of explode and whatnot. Heavy MGs, grab some of that too. And got Blanche. Great Britain looking pretty great. Oh, USA is doing okay too. 
Oh dear, I think I was out of vision just in case. Oh boy. Oh boy. Got lots of planes. Lots and lots and lots of planes. Just a crud ton of them. More cast, nice. Well, tension. Anti air upgrade. That one's getting close. Um, better engineers, maybe. We're looking alright. Just, it takes forever. I don't really want to join the South American. What? what? South American Confederacy? What? The barnacles? You know, like Greece is in the common turn. Um, China's doing its own thing. Japan is. Japanese shogun at non aligned. But the main goal for this campaign is just for us to, uh, you know, just take over the world, pretty much. Pretty much every campaign. So what are these people now? Oh, they're still fascists. Oh, you won your civil war. Nice job. Mexico's killing itself now. It doesn't surprise me one bit. Oh. Great Britain decided that they accepted a request to join the South American Confederacy, of course. That's where they're standing all together. Safeguard so the Baltics, huh? Um, I don't really want to guarantee them. Naval effort? Well, let's come over here and do this stuff here. I'm not hungry. Yugoslavia split apart, which sucks. Oh. I guess we're on the alliance. With all them folks over there. Whatever. God, how do we get more world tension? Create a faction with them. Could have really wanted to, but I'm not really wanting to. I just want to kill them all off. So we gotta get France to go cami. They're going pretty cami. Women's suffrage should get them a little slightly more communist, right? Yeah. You get a lot more political power, though. 5% more communists, not bad, though. Too. Um, they're just killing themselves, but we like it. We like it a lot. And then, uh, naval effort. The expansion of navy should be a first priority. Sign all available resources to the new dockyards and research into light ships, uh, light surface ships. Well, everyone, it's August 13th, 1940. We're still relatively peaceful, but we're going to go with World War the Kingdom of Poland, which is unfortunately in the North American coalition now. <sighs> God dang it, America. But, in the same time... Um, actually, are you, it's Great Britain at war with them, so their navies should be beating each other up. Yeah, so I think we're just going to go with them anyways. I don't care at this point. Um, and then we'll go to war with France as well. Maybe we'll see. Oh, they're attacking us. Look at that. Go figure. Um, let's go to war with these guys too, so we can reset our front line as well. Uh, because that would make it very easy for us. And then we can just kind of force our way in, probably. See what we can do. Especially on the Polish side here. America's joined. Yeah, it's fine. Non-aggression packs are good. Um, in the meantime, I want you guys out, 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 doing this. That would be great. Convoy, uh, uh, oh, repairing, huh? Should be able to get pulled. Now, they've, they've just death stacked like 35 divisions over there for some reason. Not sure why, but, you know, whatever. And let the tanks go. We should be able to roll straight through here if we possibly need to. Cut off Danzig. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hurry up, get through there, get through there, get through there. And they're cut off. And they should have no supplies left by the time we're done. As the tank should be rolling through. Oh. All of Warsaw, another victory for the Vatlem. German uh, forces uh, <clears throat> uh, advancing in the Kingdom of Poland succeeded in capturing Warsaw, as they should. Uh, sporadic fighting continues in Prague and the further districts, but sporadic resistance in the city seems to have ceased. The Polish government reported evacuating the city as the first German units entered the Warsaw's uh, suburbs, and the present location is unknown. Fighting against the German invaders continues in other parts of the country, but the loss of capital is a serious blow to the Polish war. Another victory for the Vatlem. We're actually pushing through here, which is pretty good, too. We've lost... Oh, like that's a lot for us. Forty thousand. I'm not gonna call the Netherlands in. We don't need them in right now. Um, of course they're in there. Twelve, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand Czechoslovakia. A hundred thousand from us, which is pretty decent. Um, just keep going for the VPs at this point. Just, just go to town on them. Good. Start. Good. More divisions. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, war bonds. Well, let's go. Well, well tank designers, war bonds. Hmm. Women in the workforce. We're doing total mobilization. That costs 250. Let's save it. We can go to total mobilization. I think we'll be okay with that. Dude, they'll give them room to move. 
Because we are trying to bomb everything that they got. Improved medium airframes, not bad, 9040. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Get some better cruisers in the meantime. Poland is gone. These divisions, not going to survive. And they had all those divisions over there and they all died. Nice. Polish Czechoslovakia is going to be a thing of the past too. Let the tanks just roll on in, Austria. Would you want to unite with us? Yeah, I would have a feeling that they would. Ooh, another light cruiser as well. Oh my god, you're taking so long to repair. Um, Czechoslovakia. Oh, we are going to go to war with these guys, but it's going to be easier if we just like, go through Belgium or something. 160, oh my god, 165 days. Actually, because we have the war goal against France right now already. And there goes those guys too. Not bad. Deutsche Kaiserreck is looking pretty good. You know, the domestic film industry was selected, plus 10%. We're okay with that right now. Um, dismantle the forts, we could. I really want to take out Belgium. Um, not bad overall. We could go to war with France, I suppose. We could let them in, and then... Mm, I don't know. What if we let... We just like this. Because we already took out a good chunk of Belgium, and I want France to like deplete its manpower and whatnot against us. Hey, but we really had to go to the uh, imaginal line here. Of course, then again, I don't trust them Soviet boys either. They're looking pretty uh, menacing, as some might say. There you go. There you go. And I could probably also just, just find. Oh, we are just fine. Oh, we go South Africa too. Get the boys on the line, they'll be fine. Uh, they join North American Coalition. I don't want to take focus on where those guys are not very long. Romania seeds Bessarabia. Whatever. And Swiss Operative captured. Go ahead and do like this as well, just in case you need like extra divisions on the front line for now. It's fine with me. Ghost Streak has been called in. Too bad. I don't care. We're doing a Reichs Autobahn as well. Since the inception of 1933, the Reichs Autobahn project has been a glorious success. The construction efforts have reduced unemployment and the wide road sand is a body of Germany's economic recovery. Much work remains to be done though. Uh, Army innovations too. The lessons learned at our facilities in the USSR allow us further improve our doctrines and equipment. However, this time we'll keep the advances to ourselves. So guard the Baltic. Haiti's gone. I don't want to safeguard him, to be honest with you. Um, air innovations too. The tasks of the Reich's Air Ministry are of paramount importance. Uh, the Luftwaffe must be the most advanced air force in the world. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Level 1, level 3 is better. Let them roar, boys and girls. There you go. We have those medium bombers we can throw on there, too. Get some of this, too, just in case. And... War bombs would be nice, but... Oh, wait. Encourage frugality? That's not bad. Reich's Autobahn. Expand deck our facilities would be good, too. And... Would we be able to hold against them? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's save. Because they do want to encourage them to just to attack us like crazy. And we get a war with Belgium, so. Yeah. As long as they don't lose here, that's what I mostly care about. Oh, ooh. Let's go and rush the tanks in. We can pierce them. Oh! Uh. Wait, what? Oh, they joined the common turn. Well, let me redo and rethink my strategy here then, if that's the case. Um, I made a little oopsie here, but that's okay. Ooh, let's see. You guys, and you guys. You guys are down there. You're going to hold there for a while. Which means you're going to come over here. And then you guys are all over there doing a good old thing. Go in. French guy joins the commentary. Well, should have seen that one coming. I really should have seen that one coming. My God. Oh. Ace spot promoted. Are oh, no, they nearly invading us? Well, Let's take a look, see. Uh, North, Northern South America, I guess not. All right, well, let them continue to try. Let's not go there as well. And they're gonna have a lot of man, well, they don't have a lot much manpower. Cool, Ace Black promoted. That's well, gonna be an endless struggle against these guys, but it's all right. Should do okay in theory. Stanley Slow. We need more divisions though. We will need to raise up our description level. Might as well go and go to extensive. We have the political power for it, anyways. I want to get them commies. So be it. 
a lot of these guys here. Empty Poison Cruiser hold. This means this front's gonna be opened up, unfortunately, and we'll just have to like hold out against them for a while, which sucks. Oh, we're really so close. We got that's not good. What else we got around here? Naval bombers. No naval bombers. Well, that's not ideal either. Yep, you guys have to work on that, those frames and whatnot. Well, we've lost 106,000. That's not good. Soviet Union. Cal 37,000. France. 130,000. As long as they can't break their lines, that's the most important thing. Because how much manpower do they have? Oh, they have, like, no stability. Oh, that's not good. For them. Good for us. Alright, at this point, I want you all to hold. Just hold the line. That's all I care about. Holding that there line. Engines 3. That's fine. Well, we're getting there. Getting there. Anti tank. We don't really need anti tank. Right now. And we're going to go modern blitzkrieg as well, which is pretty good too. Oh, lost two subs. That sucks. Alright, lost two subs. Come on. Well, in the meantime, improve medium mirror frame, improve small carriers. Oh, we got all the stuff we could do. Ah, oh, so in that's the case, I'm probably going to end the episode here. We could probably need another thing or two, and then in the next episode, hopefully we take out the French, because they're going to just kill themselves on the line, <clears throat> and begin working on really trying to dismantle uh, the Soviet Union here. And so recommends whatnot, you know, the good stuff. Maybe go from here to there. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It's a small encirclement, but whatever. Air innovations to coal localization. Germany's lacking in oil, so we must redouble our efforts in the field of synthetic oils. Uh, I'll probably try to do this one. I always do. I always try to do this one, but it's usually better. The nations are in a sphere of influence have grown to have extreme economic dependence on dependencies on us. We could use this to increase our control over the economies and our influence on the foreign politics. Tactical air effort. Victory will be achieved by annihilating the enemy's ground forces. We must focus on supporting our own armies with tactical strikes against close and deep targets. Long range escorts. Our tactical and strategic bombers require longer range escorts to provide protection all the way to the target area back in new able, naval air efforts. The efficacy of airstrikes against naval targets was demonstrated by the Americans already back in 1921. We should not neglect this branch of the Air Force. We intend to wage war on naval power and expand docker facilities. Truly to build a navy worth of note, we must greatly expand our shipyard building capacity, which is very, very true. But if you enjoyed the video, of course, do consider leaving a like or Subscribe if you are new, and check out my Discord link in the description below as we'll figure out and continue to see what this this mod is for Dream Disguisers, Detram Disguisers, is for Hoi 4. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.